Greetings and welcome to my new calculus channel. My name is John Gabriel and today I'm going to talk about who gave you the garbage known as the modern foundations of mathematics or more appropriately called mathematics. So this is going to be an interesting video. Don't go away. Maybe grab a cup of coffee and then come sit down and watch through to the end. So let's begin. Now, this, the modern foundations of mathematics, which are not really foundations, but as I said, garbage, was solidified by a group called the Bourbaki group, the Nicholas Bourbaki group. And some of the morons appear in this photograph. Um, they had a Congress in 1938 and their main task was to put all the anti-mathematical bullshit of set theory, topology, uh, and the kind of crap that you'd find in non-mathematics onto a supposedly sound foundation. Well, of course, there had always been a sound foundation. It, it's the elements of Euclid. And because these morons could not understand the elements of Euclid, the next natural thing to do was to uh, take their garbage and plaster it with uh, false uh, definition around the garbage skeleton that they put together, which is set theory, topology, uh, and the like. So these, these idiots uh, had a profound effect on modern uh, mathematics and have set it back probably about five to 600 years. So before I uh, continue on to the next uh, uh, topic. I'm not going to be dealing with all the people who contributed, but just some of the main characters. So, uh, and of course, these people came way after the people I'm going to discuss now. So, and I don't call them mathematicians because they were nothing of the sort. And no one with a PhD in mathematics is worthy to be called a mathematician because what they get their degree on is not even mathematics, the majority of them. So let's begin. Now, this pathetic, decrepit old fool called George Cantor was probably the beginning of all this nonsense. And his ideas were about set theory and how set theory could possibly replace the solid foundations of the ancient Greeks, which were the elements of Euclid. Um, his fellow colleagues or his fellow uh, mathematicians, so to speak, in, in inverted commas, they were not mathematicians, and neither was he, uh, actually riled against him. Some even called him a total crank. In fact, one of his uh, Jew compatriots called Kroniker said that he had no mathematics and there was nothing in what he was saying. And of course, set theory has nothing to do with mathematics because mathematics is the abstract science of measure and number, not topology or any of that other BS that you find in mainstream courses today. <clears throat> so <clears throat> George Cantor was almost the beginning. And then, of course, another influential homosexual idiot was this Ludwig Wittgenstein. Okay. So he published a prize prize heap of trash called the Tractatus on Logic. Okay. And he starts off his Tractatus by saying, this book will perhaps only be understood by those who have themselves already thought the thoughts which are expressed in it or similar thoughts. I mean, if you just stop the video now and just think to yourself, how illogical that first uh, sentences. It is completely devoid of logic. The very thing that this idiot is about to talk about in his Tractatus, which is 173 pages from the looks of things. Um, so Wittgenstein was a bumbling fool who had nothing to say. And he, uh, of course, got a lot of his ideas and uh, concepts by working with people like Frege and Bertrand Russell. Right, and in fact, he was a very good friend of Bertrand Russell, who I think wrote wrote the foreword in his Tractatus Logico Philosophicus. So, 
Uh, Bertrand Russell, this was the guy who was uh, supposedly the brain behind the set theoretic paradox and supposedly the fund the rigorization of set theory that followed. Of course, set theory never was rigorous, never will be rigorous, and is basically junk concepts that have no part in mathematics. In fact, the very definition of set doesn't even exist. Okay, there, there is no definition of set. And the whole theory is based on nine fictitious beliefs called axioms, the ZFC axioms. Now, uh, set theory had the ZFC axioms. And then of course, we had the, the fool called Giuseppe Piano. Okay. So Giuseppe Piano came up with these five 100% idiotic statements. And they took, they took root in mainstream mathematics. So um, I've got an excellent video on Giuseppe uh, Piano. It's this one here. It's called The Crap Actions of Piano. You can look at it on my YouTube and it will tell you everything you need to know about this absolute moron who became quite a, uh, a respected figure in mathematics. Well, I mean, a lot of baboons have been in mainstream uh, academia for the last 200 years and in all likelihood your professor is a baboon and you are one too well most of you are so that's giuseppe piano and the other idiot who took cantor's uh, toxic ideas to a new level was this fool david hilbert okay and Hilbert supposedly did some number work, uh, number theory work, which is also absolute garbage. And also a colleague of theirs at the time, Gottlob Frege, uh, not a mathematician's arse, by the way, none of them here are mathematicians, uh, never were mathematicians, but they like to call themselves that. So he also wrote on numbers, some really weird stuff. And, and then finally, this prize French idiot who solidified everything into topology and metric spaces, which are typically courses you do in your second and third year of your mathematics BSc. So, uh, and then also we have as a substitute for Gabriel arithmetic, <laughs> which is functional without numbers, we have the bullshit of von Neumann ordinals. I mean, this whole thing is just total poppycock from the very first sentence all the way to the end. And again, if you look at these things, you'll see who the, the fellow culprits were, Frag, Russell, uh, Hilbert, all these incredibly stupid people who gave you the bullshit called the modern foundations of mathematics. Now, you want the true foundations? You, you have to come to me for that. Okay, because only I can give you the real foundations of mathematics, not even my fellow Greeks, because they don't know the things I know. Okay, so I advise you to come to my academia page, click on my profile, and you'll be able to find many interesting articles that cover all these topics, hundreds of them. Okay, um, so here are some of the latest ones. Mainstream mathematics community is an echo chamber of buffoons. Gabriel arithmetic without numbers, a method based on Thales proportionality theorem, the bottomless pit. Mainstream math community bias is part of AI chatbots pre-training, and the, the ironic part is that one can convince the chatbots even though they're being pre-trained incorrectly. Um, and then, of course, a lot of other interesting topics that you won't find anywhere else. So, if you're not a raised subscriber, Become a subscriber to my channel, click like, follow me on academia.edu, and also you can join my members only channel for a mere $4.99 a month and have access to a lot more goodies that I don't share with the public. And finally, you can buy some of the best books written on mathematics and, and learning mathematics. Here's my latest project, which is the importance of learning the right way and what does division mean that mean in mathematics and how does it affect all other arithmetic concepts. So it's a mere $10 in the US. 
and it's an excellent book. It's constantly up, updated with new information. Um, it's almost 100 pages right now. This is a description of the new calculus. This is for toddlers who want to learn the four basic operations of arithmetic and how they can use them on any numbers, types of numbers. In other words, whether they be fractions or holes. And of course, an excellent historical perspective from the nonfiction origins and history of calculus. And the ultimate book of numbers, which uh, blows away anything and everything that has been written on number by the absolute dimwits of the last maybe 2000 years. Okay, so, and this book was free once upon a time, it's no longer free. You can get you can get it for a mere ten dollars. I'm John Gabriel, and this is New Calculus Channel. Till next time, goodbye.